after effects of extreme uh, precipitation, extremes of precipitation, whether it's flood or drought. Uh, this picture is from Kerala, where I come from. Uh, I was there, I just by chance happened to be there when the, the biggest flood in the last 100 years happened. And um, of course, it's a climate event, but you could draw a direct link between failed or, or misdirected uh, um, development policies that have been in play in the state for many, many years, the way construction happens, the way the forests are cut down, uh, etc. So development has its cost, and it was quite evident in, in Kerala where, where I was. So uh, I important to know that out of 2,843 uh, 2 extreme weather events uh, that were recorded between 1990 and 2016, um, more than half a million people, uh, it affected 4.8 billion people, killing uh, half a million people. And 15% of all natural disaster deaths are due to floods. Um, sometimes when you have a lot of water, um, uh, you can also have a problem of water shortage. And that's, this is a case study from, um, uh, from Sudan where people live in floodplains. But even though they live in floodplains, they have very little water to drink. Portable water, of course, is a huge issue. And when you don't have portable water, you have all sorts of problems. Uh, people have to leave homes. They live in camp-like conditions, very often unsanitary situation. Um, and that leads to waterborne diseases, epidemics, acute malnutrition, etc. So in, so in Maban, in South Sudan, we are very often called to respond to massive cholera outbreaks that kill thousands of people. And this is in a place where there is a lot of water. So having water does not equate to people having water to drink. Um, uh, the, the extreme sort of uh, lethality of uh, weather-related diseases, uh, weather-related disasters, drought, of course, is a big, big problem. Uh, we work in places in Africa and other parts of the world where uh, drought results in a in, uh, lot of mortality. Um, and there are projections now which says that if left unmitigated, climate change is expected to result in an additional 1.4 billion drought exposure events per year, 2 billion flood exposure events per year by the end of the century. I mean, these numbers are so staggering. Uh, and if you don't do it, a lot of this will translate into, into mortality. Um, this is, again, um, a, a case study from India where um, farmers in the past uh, 20 years have been committing suicide in large numbers. Uh, by some account, 50,000 farmers have committed suicide in India. And the land pressures that are created by failing crops, uh, drought, etc., push people to leave uh, uh, these areas and they move into overcrowded slums where they're caught in a downward spiral of poverty, disease, uh, and violence. Uh, and this is something. So it is uh, very few cities have f uh, factored in, even though it is there in the big policy domain. But in, in practical terms, very few cities are yet to factor in climate change into their, into their urban expansion plans or urban planning. Right? So this is a, a, a big, big issue. Um, next. Uh,